right, so next we're gonna have Ravi from Atmos Financial join us in conversation. Applause, please. <laughs> So we were just talking yesterday, we ran into each other, how we had a conversation maybe two years ago about Atmos, and now I'm seeing Atmos everywhere. I listened to this podcast called The Catalyst, and I was like, oh, Atmos Financial sponsored this, and like I said, plan of the week is, you know, Atmos Financial. So first of all, congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah. And second of all, can you tell us a little bit about Atmos? What, what was the genesis? What is the thesis? Yeah. Hey everybody, uh, good afternoon, happy Earth, post-Earth Day, happy Earth <laughs> Week. Um, yeah, so I'm Ravi Mickelson, co-founder and CEO of Atmos. Uh, I've spent the past two and a half decades in climate, uh, materials engineer, then uh, installer and deployer, and now I'm in finance. Um, so genesis of Atmos is sort of my journey and my co-founder's journey. So I come from the energy deployment side, he comes from the banking side. And so the two sides of it, um, why I switched into finance is we need cheaper capital faster. Um, in late 2018, the IPCC released a report that said, you know, if we wanna save the world, we need four to six trillion dollars per year spent on this transition. That's this level of scale that we need. Um, and they actually said, so in October 2018, they released a report, they said, we need to spend this money starting in 2060. So we need to invent time travel, go back, 10x the amount of money that we're spending, and do this for um, 32 years, 34 years. So I was like, okay, how do we, I, forget time travel, not that smart, but it's like, how do we get more money into this? It's like, okay, the global banking system has 60,000 banks and credit unions. They had, at the time, $200 trillion in assets, now they've got $500 trillion in assets. Okay, six trillion out of 500, you know, a lot of money, but it's still not, you know, from a percentage basis, it's, you know, not that much. So how do we get those 60,000 to each put in a small amount of money? How do we get everyone, everyone in this room to take one step together? That will lead, <clears throat> that, that will, you know, cause a much greater effect than one person or one bank becoming 100% uh, climate positive. So that's the genesis is how do we, you know, create, allow everyone to have impact with their money. So it doesn't matter if you live in an apartment and your roof is your upstairs neighbor's floor, by moving your money, you can still have impact. And then how do we get every bank and credit union globally to start deploying capital to fund these projects? Awesome. Um, you have a carbon calculator on the front page of your website, and my guess is that is to help uh, consumers kind of learn a little bit about the carbon footprint of their banking. Can you walk us through that? Yes. Um, it was fun to, to hear some of the previous conversations because uh, I built the carbon footprint calculator back in 2007 was the first one I built. And, um, dive super deep into to everything, and on the very first iPhone, tracks, you know, tractor movements and, and predicted whether or not you're on a bike or walking or flying or driving. Um, but now it's, what's your money doing? Um, we're starting to see reports from Drawdown and they've got calculators and others. It, are you with the big bank? What, you know, are you, are you funding fossil fuels? So ours shows, if you put your money with Atmos, 100% of those deposits are going to fund climate positive solutions residential solar, now heat pumps, small business solar. Here you can see on the screen sort of money with us versus money with, with large banks. Um, and so it's the, the power of that dollar, it's the scope three emissions that you were talking about earlier. And so how can you, you know, just moving your money, so less than 10 minutes, create a savings account, and what will the impact be uh, on avoided emissions with that? So with Atmos, what would the emissions factor be versus with the average bank, what would the emissions factor be? Yeah, it's, so for most, if you see these calculators, it's going from a fossil fuel funding bank to a nearly climate neutral bank. So there's a reduction, but it's not yet climate positive. And that's, that's where we step in. It's like, hey, let's not just not fund fossil fuels, but let's fund climate positive activities. 
And so right now, um, and we're, we're moving to a dynamic calculator because we're constantly funding new projects, and so every new project is creating that. Um, but it's about one third of a pound of CO2 uh, per dollar deposited per year. Um, and as we add new states, as we add in new utility territories, uh, it gets pretty complicated to give any one number. You know, it's going to be different tomorrow, but that's roughly what it is right now. Do you customers understand what they're seeing in the data? What kind of feedback have you gotten so far? A little bit. Yeah. It, it's, you know, they, they understand the general principle. Um, banks create loans. We work with banks. We take your deposits. We put it with banks. And we create some of the lowest cost loans for people to go solar, for businesses to get heat pumps. Uh, and that's real impact in your communities. Um, and so the exact numbers, I think, while meaningful, are not as meaningful as the stories that you see. It's like, oh wait, here's a house that puts solar. Here's a business, like you know, you see the, the gas furnace on the sidewalk. Um, so we're showing those stories, uh, and that's what resonates more. Got it. So you know, let's say folks here are interested in moving their money because they care about the planet. They want to do something good. Um, you know, are there physical locations? Are there, you know, am I going to be charged for using the ATM? Is it like a general bank? As a, well, well, the last one, I'll do the last one first. We're a technology company, not a bank, especially if there's any regulators in the room. We're, not a bank. We're a technology company. We work with regulated banks to protect your money. Um, we're a remote first company. So we rent some desks here in the city, uh, but mostly we work from our homes, things, things like that. Um, and, but with our debit card, you can access 55,000 ATMs fee free in the United States. Um, all, the, all the other sort of trappings of a normal bank account through our partner, Five Star Bank out of New York. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, and is it easy to switch? So it's easy to switch savings. Um, so in less than 10 minutes, you can apply, open, and fund your savings account. And then a checking account uh, is hard. You have your Netflix, your rent, your mortgage, your tuition, all of these things connected to it. So we say, take 10 minutes, fund your savings account, get your checking account, put some money in there. And then over the next three, six, nine months, as you're going about your life, you log into Netflix and change that. You, pay your utility bill the next month, change that and slowly do that so that you're not like, okay, I need to find a weekend where I've got 14 and a half hours free to change out these 90 things. Don't do that. You'll never find that and you won't take that step. You need to take all of these little steps as we've said, as you've said so many times today. Mm -hmm. Nice. I wonder like if I, when I used to work in tech, we have all these different employee benefits and uh, I wonder if there you know, is some incentive that the company could give me to switch my bank, whether it's my savings or my checkings. Has that been explored yet? Uh, we've had, yeah, we uh, we do have some companies that we work with that um, offer this as a employee benefit where they will um, add to the savings account of the customers that are switching to Atmos because they're, because they're now moving to a most more remote and so the, the home emissions, the scope of emissions uh, of their employees is there, are their emissions too. And for uh, the people in here that may be interested in having that as an employee benefit, how can they find out more? Uh, email us, uh, hello at Join Atmos, support at Join Atmos, Ravi at Join Atmos. Uh, if you want to join Atmos, you go to joinatmos.com. <laughs> Great. Um, to just wrap it up, um, what are some other initiatives that you're looking at on the roadmap to further reduce impact, reduce carbon footprint? Um, we are, you know, we're working on the first climate positive credit card. We're doing more on the on business accounts, um, business loans, uh, tying in. So there's, you know, more partnerships. So it's not just us trying to do everything, but looking at the investment companies, the data companies. How do we create this coalition so that we can share resources? And like I said. We need to all move there together so that we can share and get there together. Thank you so much, Robbie, for joining us today. Thank you, Jeff. And everyone vote. Vote this year. <laughs> Number one thing you can do.